you're just tuning in you're welcome to hello nigeria you're well in time for all the awesomeness that we have lined in store for you today like i said earlier i deeply apologize for starting late much later on in the show we'll be joined by isende eziani would also be joined by eniola edunjobi and wrapping up the show will be ima oh my god uh, who is originally known as emmanuel edunjobi but for now we're joined by wemimo adewune i'm looking at what's happening in the news hello wemimo thank Hi. you for joining us why are you looking like me we had Excuse a guest yesterday. Me, the guest was like looking you. like me. Today now you're looking like me. You are looking like me. Ha. I've been dressed since 5.30 a.m. I've today. been dressed since 4 a.m. Did you see me? No way. <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> good to have you, Remy. I hope yeah, you had yeah, a good day. Yeah, had a long, long one. Really hope you adjusted to what it feels. It didn't feel like a holiday anyway. I did have a holiday, so I don't know how you guys did it, but there was no holiday for me. So. But at the end of the day, it's worth it because you're doing what you love, so that's what counts. Yeah, some holiday is not a bad idea. I know, too. right? Let's go straight into the news and see what's happening with Mimo. The governor of Lagos State, Mr. Babajide Songwolu, has said that the state would soon release hotlines for residents to call and report their road problems to the government. He's restated his commitment to collaborate with the people of the state for successful implementation of his administration's policies and programs. A statement on Wednesday said Songwolu spoke when he hosted the Muslim faithful in the Lagos House, Alao Saikeja, to mark the 2019 Idel Fitri. Now, we know that before someone who came into office, he had also made a promise, which we discussed earlier on, mm. about how he would fix the Apapa gridlock within the first 60 days. I am so counting down for him every day on Twitter. Exactly. I'm excited about that. I'm because down. I remember when we had a conversation, the thing was not about saying, how are these promises going to happen? Yeah. Beyond saying them, talk yeah. is cheap. How exactly? And mm -hmm. he said, he, commit, he stated that one of the ways in which he planned to do this was to focus on the Badagri port, seeing as we paid too much attention to the Apapa port. Ne mm. Neglecting the bad report. But then in that one, he missed the point because that's not the problem with their papa port. So okay. I think we'll talk about that some other time. Okay, but he has said that he would, you know, he would, there'd be a hotline. To what effect will this hotline be? People have been complaining, complaining on Twitter, complaining on Instagram, social media platforms. Is a hotline going to really be the problem? So it's, it's good that he's trying to bring in technology. But again, our state governors are missing the big picture here. These are the duties of the local government. Potholes, inner roads should be the primary duty of local governments. Now, the NFIU, Nigerian Financial Intelligence Unit, told uh, state governments to take their hands off the monies of local governments. I had a conversation on this on radio yesterday. We had a former local government chairman uh, who you know, analyzed how much money they're not getting, but they're signing for. So the state is in charge of funds that the local government should be in charge of. Fixing of roads should not be the business of the state government. Inner roads, in fact, clinics, primary schools are uh, all under the purview of the local government. But we know that, you know, a lot of people know that when you are, as a youth service corps member, you're sent to the local government, it's time for you to go and lounge. Yeah. Because nothing <laughs> is really done, everybody's chilling, because there's a lot of work being done. We're not holding a lot of local government officials to account. Absolutely. So now that, I mean, this uh, NFIU guidelines kick-started on the 1st of June. So today's the 6th of June. We're hoping that by the end of this month, the local government to get their funds, although the governors are really angry uh, about the new rules because, of course, some cake being taken off their plate. Which is good. Which is good. Now, we need to see the local government begin to function. Potholes on your streets should not be the business of your governor. That should be your local government. That's why we have the local government chairman. And in many states, they don't even have chairman, elected chairman. They just decide to, you know, appoint critical committees, people who become stooges of the governor. So it's a great idea, but bigger picture should be that 
this should not even be the business of the state. Can we strengthen the local government to function better? That's what I want to hear us talking about. All right, we look forward to seeing how this plays out. We applaud the governor for trying to employ means to involve technology, but we remember the kind promises that he made to the people of Lagos at the commencement of office, just before the commencement of office, and we look forward to seeing him actualizing those promises. We're here counting with him. Exactly. We're very excited. We're not putting yeah. him under pressure. We, but he put we... himself under <laughs> pressure, my dear. He, put him, I mean, he said 60 days. Yes. So May 29 was day one. We're counting. I had some people come on the show last week and they gave the governor a, a hundred day ultimatum to fix the Lagos Badagri Express with their civil society that said that uh. they are tired of the maternal mortality rate increase on Lagos Ibadan Expressway and how they've been going back and forth on that road for years. And he has also gone there to visit the, to see that road. He has also gone to a papa. So some people say don't pressurize him, but he's also not giving himself the rest. So let's help him by encouraging fire, him to Fire, let's put a fire. Yeah. Cherry, go going on, on, Governor. Keep we look forward to seeing all of this happen. Just make sure you don't burn out on the short fuse. Hopefully he will not. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.